Hello everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today, we have the Maryland Heights first round of the postseason event with 2nd MS versus 5th Florida. 2nd MS is the higher rank, so they chose the map. Here are what the teams will be during the second round. During the first round, they'll be flipped, but on the CSA side, you have 5th Florida, Kelly's Brigade, Colquitt's Brigade, 5th Virginia, and then 1st Missouri Battalion. And then on the USA side for the second round, CSA first round, you have 2nd MS, Irish Volunteer Brigade, 9th Corps, and G Jackson's division. And with that out of the way, here is the current bracket. What it looks like, very exciting to see. And with that being said, thank you to our Patreons for the support. If you want to support, go to the link in the description and you can sign up there. With that being said, I hope you enjoy this condensed version of the event. So we're back in. I'm sorry about that. My laptop uh, could not handle frontline reporters and the normal jazz stuff. So apologies for that. We also have Corded with us today. Hey, hey. So uh, you saw the playoff rules being explained before coming in here. So this game it does support attackers and attackers being aggressive um so the playoff rules that we have for this i think will heavily incentivize um being aggressive something we normally don't see a whole lot and defenders are rushing in they're uh, going please explain what exactly the playoff rules are as we go into this epic charge uh, yes. here. um so basically uh, there are two rounds here, as you know. Maryland Heights is being played twice. Second MS is the higher rank, and they chose to play CSA first. So Fifth Florida is playing as Union. Um, if one side wins two rounds uh, from there, that team will automatically move on. But if there is a tie, it goes down to the attacker's time um, to win the game. And that timer is the big black timer on top of your screen. Um, so if the match ended now, the attackers would have won uh, in five-ish minutes. Um, wow. And whatever team had the quicker time to win the game would win the tiebreaker. Um, see, that's what I, I agree. I, that's, see, that's how I like to play all games. Whenever it's 1-1 one, one and like a pub mat, or not, like a pub uh, private, like on the community events on Saturdays and Sundays. If it's 1-1, one, one, it's whoever won the match quicker whoever won the attacking match quicker. That's what I always say. That's a very good way to run your playoffs, Ethel. I'd say very expertly made right there. Thank you. I, it was made a certain way, but after many suggestions, um, we have got it to its current system. So USA lost the first charge. And I will say how the total time to win is calculated um, is by the black timer, not the counterattack timer. So right now the clock has frozen. Um so if the round ended right now, the attackers would have won in five minutes. So, <laughs> <laughs> so CSA is completely on point. Uh, CSA beginning to move down this hill. Uh, they're approaching the Kelly's Brigade, uh, who is getting shot up right now. They are taking a lot of damage. Right Kelly's Brigade, they're getting wow. shot up. Oh my. Jeez, wow, that's a, that's such a surprise that they would get shot up. I would never expect that. You have JD uh, and 2nd MS getting the brunt of this charge. playing War of Rights. And the collector just started playing War of Rights. It's like he's crashing out of the game. And uh, we have Union right now charging down the hill. Sussy Brigade is currently charging down the hill. Led by Stess from 5th Florida. There they go. They're going to try to slam and recap point. Massive casualties engaged on this point, and CSA from, dominate. For, from my perspective, Sessi seems to be tearing through that initial point, but it seems like they're not just getting it. They're, they're not getting support from anywhere else. Is what, what? What are you guys seeing on the battlefield? Because right now, I'm seeing I'm seeing Sussie standing alone. I mean, uh, well, in, yeah, you gotta go for it. To be fair, fifth VA was also in that charge with Sussy. Uh, and also, yeah, before that, Kelly's Brigade was, uh, they charged in earlier from the bottom, and they got destroyed okay. pretty quickly. See, I think charging from the bottom is an absolute no-no, um, especially on this map. Um, so if you know, Bus, sorry. um, the yeah, so second MS is leading the, C uh, the whole CSA team right now. So the whole CSA team, even if they hate second MS's strategy, they have to follow it. 
Same right. with Fifth Florida. So that means that either Kelly Brigade went rogue or they followed exactly what, what Fifth Florida what told them to do. Say. And I, I would say this right now, and, and Zoo's going to watch this. I wouldn't be surprised one bit if Zoo just said, hey, charge from the bottom, guys. I wouldn't be surprised one bit. No, keep going, guys. Possibly do a distraction. It, you can see dog. Because out, out of all the sussy officers, Zoo is the uh, worst. So <laughs> out of every single one. So I, would, I, I wouldn't be surprised one bit. So the union's trying to run away with their three flags, and they're being chased down by Ivory B members. Fuck you guys. And these Look flags are going to get slaughtered. So we could see Sussy here. They're pushing up against 9th New York. Uh, they're just trying to charge him out. Again, Union's still not going for the point. I mean, they're taking a while. This is really well picked by 2nd MS. I agree. I, I agree. I, this is a great map to pick, especially with how quickly they capped. Um, Someone's saying easy map to pick. And, uh, and one that would get you through to the, to the end game. Quickly before this charge, we never saw numbers. It's 98 v 98, dead even, so you cannot say numbers were a fair balance. Confederates converging on the point. They have to defend for two and a half minutes approximately, and the whole Union team is going down to the point. This will decide the game. You can see the Union coming in the distance in mass. Union's quite scattered in this charge. I don't think they have a chance here. They are really scattered, indeed. Um, I'm seeing seeing random guys over here as I as I come in and, and, and try and report on this battlefield, and I see like KB guys sitting at the rock. Some people are standing back. A couple of different dudes just standing back. But Union is on the point. Jay's over here on the point, sitting on this rock here. But there's just too many, just too many Confederates coming in. Yeah, yeah, IVB is, is pushing is in now. Up from the bottom. They're countercharging. Yeah, and Union was so spread out. Some now just sitting back shooting. And wow. Um, another thing about the playoff rules. Um, I'm going to go through these before the video. But in case you've forgotten. Um, is that. So the higher ranking team obviously picks the map. But the map is not revealed to everyone else. till the day of um, coordination. So today. So the map was. Released everyone earlier today, so Fifth Florida had a little less time. It's to give the higher ranking scene more of an advantage um, in planning. Oh. So, wow, an absolute domination here from Second MS on this first map. Heck wow. of a job. Corded your thoughts. Oh, well, that's definitely the best plan to start out is just capping the point right away. Uh, I think the Union could have had a better chance if they stuck to more shooting. Like, the first time they had the opportunity to counterattack, they had the Union surrounded on, I mean, the CSA surrounded on three sides. I think they could have easily shot them down a lot more and had a, uh, made it a lot easier for them to charge them out and uh, get that regular timer farther down. Boss, your thoughts? I agree with that statement completely. Really, um, uh, Zoo, I still love you, but uh, you shouldn't have charged down that very beginning spot. Um, it's, it's, you know, sometimes it happens. It, it's hard to come back. From that, uh, after that initial charge, I believe that the Union really should have gone up above over the hill like they did the second time they charged in with the whole team and done it that way over and over again rather than going from the bottom because there's no real chance from going from the bottom. But a great job by CSA uh, today. They, they, did a, they did a fantastic job, and, and Union, it's, it's a tough one to get back to that point. Yeah, for sure. With that being said, the sides are flipping. Same map. Let's get and it. I'm getting some chicken, so I'm going to be right back. He is currently sitting there um, eating on. chicken. So, uh, in terms of the point, we have Ninth Core, JD, uh, holding on this left side. On the right, you see second MS. Uh, I'm probably missing a guy or two. Uh, more units are still coming up the hill. That. But here comes the CSA. They're slamming in. They got to cap this point within they the know. next two minutes. They know it. Within the next two minutes, they got to do it. Here it comes. This is it. Bodies better flow into there, man. What's that? A union? A union line down the left of the road? Is that? Is that? Is that what I? Said? Yeah. So a union line is coming, coming up in. this they're road. They're not cutting it off quite yet. No, they're kind of getting there. Um, the fighting is still happening. Timer, press P for me, really quick. Not coming down yet. Yeah, they got two. They got. They got two coming in. 
So they got one minute and 52 seconds left. Those CSA groups got to get to that point over there. IVB finally getting the point. The rest of CSA now approaching this top side. They're going to try to go from top and go to the bottom. Are they even on cap yet? No, they. it doesn't even matter. There's so many union that it's not even going to matter. So they're sitting back and shooting right now. Uh, probably waiting for their friendlies to approach. And now Knight's going in because he kind of has to. Honestly, I just sit there and wait, surround them like they are, and shoot them out, but they're charging in. No, you gotta, because they gotta cap this point within the next minute. No, I minute. agree, but they could sit on the cap point and, and just start capping it as they shoot them down. They, they surround um, them completely. They could just get on the cap point, because that cap point's relatively wide. Corda, your thoughts on what's happening? Um, there's nothing the CSI can do. Uh, the Union has every advantage, and they know they only have to hold for five minutes. So, really what the Union could have even done is just sit uh, in between the point and the CSA spawn, and then just not even give them any time to cap. It looks like this is it right here. Yeah. If we're lucky, maybe we can end this match early and Union will decide to pull off completely or F9 until they die. No, that would be cringe. Well, unlucky for you, but lucky for me. Because I think it'd be funny to see. So, yeah, 18 seconds. Um, Here it is. Colquist this is the last moments of CSA's possible victory. Oh. Zoo, so, I still love you if you lose this, but I respect I, you less. I agree. No, no, not with that half part. <laughs> <laughs> you got me there. And with that being said, it looks like Second MS has claimed victory. Um, there it is. But no, hopefully we can still see a fun match. Um, we have IVB furthest down to the right. You do see a mix of tags. I kind of can't tell. You have 51st PA um, and Second MS. That's what I see. Uh, and then on the far right side, you have 9th New York and JD. Fighting these guys is... Fifth Floridians, kind of sussy brigade, but more Fifth Florida. You have Fifth VA approaching this as well, taking shots. Um, on the other side, going over to the point is uh, I Corps Kelly's brigade. Um, yeah, they're they're basically getting point blank shots here. And I apparently have gone into spectator mode. Well, that was AFK for so long eating this chicken. I haven't finished eating it yet. CSA destroying the Union force here. The Union sitting on point just kind of taking shots. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Frankly, I've never seen anything like this before. This is Union. beautiful from Sussy. Union charging up the hill now. Looks like IVB starting their move right now currently. IVB is moving up the road. The rest of the Union team is moving up as well. Yeah, they're trying to charge. Right side of the point. They're pulling back from the point right now. Perhaps to suck in that uh, that CSA group. Yeah, Union kind of repositioned. Collector here. Collector here with the shot. Collector misses point blank and gets killed by Ronan. Unbelievable. And Confederates go down to engaged. Little really here. <laughs> but yeah, he's turtle on point. <laughs> Bus, what He's are your thoughts on no turtling? He is. What are my thoughts on turtling? I believe that it's a legitimate move um, when it's when it's a really unbalanced snap and 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 you Union goes out and you uh, outnumber you don't outnumber the the enemy, but when you outnumber the enemy and turtle, then then it's just shameful. So charging happening on top of the hill, Union outnumbering Down on the bottom as well. Sevy, some close combat about to happen with IDB, and uh, they're going into the side of a knight is shooting. But Sevy versus Knight. Sevy versus Knight. This is a 1v1 from Kelly's Brigade. I want this fucking ball so I can send a guy to kill They're still up in the. <laughs> you can they hear them, man. They kill each other. Unbelievable. They're just facing off against each other. This oh, is a hey, disgusting act. Oh, they're going in. Sevy right there. Wow. I, was, I stand wrong. I stand corrected. IVB got destroyed. Sevy. Yeah, they really did. Wow. Unbelievable. So Kelly's Earth, Brigade better capitalize on this right now and, and, and really push should. up to the point rather than just sort of stand there and celebrate their victory. Someone's playing Union the Pacer Toss from JD. I mean, Union, no, Union's falling up the top of the hill. Union's getting surrounded. Is them surrounded right now. Bobble out yourself to death. <laughs> Bobble out yourself to death. <laughs> Holy crap, IVB wow. got slaughtered. 
Might be dead. Wow. That is not a bus tactic. That's a classic Sevy tactic right there. <laughs> so, bus is ripping up IVB. I'm ripping up Sevy specifically. <laughs> so, the second of, so the Union team's kind of splitting off the two. Half of them just charging straight for the point. The other half charging the CSA up on this hill. Uh, they're getting spread out. I will out. say, IVB has done phenomenal for most of this match. It's just Sevy died right there, and that's on him for dying. There's a CSA group down at the bottom of the hill. Yeah, those are the guys that just shot up IVB. So Union, yeah. second MS, did get on point. Still kind of some charging happening around the woods. Um, fifth NC here with Fifth Florida charging onto the point. Um, is Kelly's Brigade starting to come up the hill? They are. Confederates had taken losses, and Union's about to have taken losses as well. Six minutes here. I think CSA might have this in the bag, and Florida owes me money. <laughs> Yeah, CSA winning on all fronts. <laughs> wow. Corded dot so far. So, is Maryland Heights a union bias map? Let's ask the players from this <laughs> Classic Eagle tactic. Uh, they got a CSA group moving down uh, towards the union spawn uh, ridge where they can they can get up to the point. So JD pushing up, taking some shots, and you do see uh, 5th VA, um, they are the ones moving on to the left side here. Uh, you do see a body ragdolling down the hill, something... It appears Sussy has locked the man, and that man would be me because I'm now spectating. Oh my Wow, language there. Unbelievable. Uh, and we can see JD is starting to push up now. Here we go. Here it is. There's still a CSA group at the top. And Union starting to stab up here. CSA going down the hill. Union winning this initial position. But of course, as Buzz said, more CSA approaching down the hill. You can't see anything because of smoke. This Why is intense. This is intense. One CSA group still holding off of the point. Then his fifth VA. Union Looks could like they're win. moving now. Yeah, fifth VA has got to get in here. CSA has got to collapse. It's very, very close here with two minutes left on this counterattack. Union might win. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> Union might win. Union might win the whole game right here if they cap it back. <laughs> the, the, game, the, game. Game, the game is done, guys. Did I don't you know, know about you guys, but I'd love to keep this going for about three more hours. Patreon.com slash Battleline Network. There is a charge. There is a charge. It might be a little more important than this channel. JD and Kelly's Brigade getting it off. Except JD's Really, I think getting Kelly's Brigade is going to smash him here. Who's behind? Kelly's really been bombing it out. A lot of the tactics have been working. Been working good for him. Another uh, one coming in, more Union. Uh, it is second MS. They did merge, or they formed a group with the 18th Mississippi. A couple of those guys are here as well. And what do they call it? They're just called the Mississippi Brigade? Uh, I don't know. They are. It's, they are? It's very <laughs> uncreative, yeah, but I, that, is, that fits them for <laughs> being just called the two Mississippis. I may, that makes sense, but, you know. Even though there's only one Mississippi here today. Mm-hmm. There's not two Mississippis, and there's certainly not 18 of them. We're all, I thought they were all Virginians. Uh, that's a cringe joke, Eagle. <laughs> I try. <laughs> the total, the War Rights podcast where we talked about everything but Eagle's War with Rights. Us right now. Yeah. Oh no, Knight just went down. I think that was Knight. As Kelly Brigade is now going to be charging at JD. Collector has resurrected himself. He's back alive. He was a chaplain at one point in IVB history when he wasn't in charge. And that is probably what he divinated himself back to life. Unbelievable. He really did. So it's Kelly's Brigade charging a mass. Is there charging happening on the point as well? No, there's not. There's just a lot of shooting. Uh, so let's go back to this charge here. Um... Yeah, yeah, so JD kind of fell back to these rocks, but there's a lot of Kelly's They're Brigade dying. here. They are indeed. They've been, they've been blobbing and it's been working out for them. They've been turtling, as some would say. Uh, this flag trying some, to make it out. Some could say that. Some could say they've been turtling. This flag, will he make it? Is he going to get stuck? Can you go down this area? Yeah, you can. But no, uh, second of is coming down on uh, Kelly's Brigade right now. Yes, they are. 
So it looks like Union strategy, Fusewall Jackson popping off. Uh, but it looks like the Union strategy. I mean, strategy. the admin core is going insane right now. Lots of talking. Uh, we'll check back with them in a minute. But it really looks like the Union strategy is just knock the CSA down the final push. I see that, yeah. Beautiful. And you can see Union's just ahead on tickets. Let's go check in the IDB because actually... Um, There's nothing going on over there. Yeah, it's CSA, not over CSA won. Uh, but let's hear. What is the glorious chatting? Collector, collectors. There's no chatter going on. It was your stream. I thought it was. I thought it was my spectator mode, but it was your stream. One thing we did miss. Uh, so Kelly's brigade is charging JD. One thing we did miss is the crab admin. Mm. We do miss crab admin. So Kelly's brigade taking a lot of AD shots. JD and Kelly's brigade been getting a They're lot coming. of action with each other this whole game. They really have them two really like each other a lot. They're coming. Uh, Tommy coming down like to with my friend. I mean, they like to fight each other. Up the hill, boys. Oh, you might see a CSA win here. Uh, I mean, they just have to cap a win. They're charging on top of the hill as well. Charging everywhere. I can hear you. Union flag. Yeah, we're probably going to hear Fredericksburg chance in a minute, except that hasn't. Kelly's Brigade really needs to move up here and support them. They're just getting stopped by about 15 Union guys, though. CSA's frontal charge down the hill is coastal uh, wipe uh, now. Uh, it not happen. And you can hear the glorious uh, Israeli song. I don't know how to pronounce it, though. Does he even know the title? You do if you lose this, I still respect you. But I don't love you. This just keeps getting like darker. Yeah, yeah. This has been probably the worst battle line network <laughs> hosting experience. I I don't know yet. I really don't know yet. Oh, hold on. CSA's might be winning on the point. No way. Oh my goodness. The point is going down at a normal rate, guys. This is when no one's on point. The point goes down this that is, fast. This when is no hectic. one's on point. You gotta this be careful. Insane, guys. Warlord getting a kill. I'm gonna and cry. Competitive I'm final gonna, push. Oh, Warlord is, is fighting Redzilla. Oh, Doug. Doug's ruining a moment here. God damn. Oh, oh Doug using bad point. language. You may stop it. It's, so CSA is capping, however, rushing up the hill. Um, if you guys didn't know, I did have a, a talk with Doug before this that every time he sweared, he'd have to put a, a penny in the swear drawer and everybody on the BLN would have to pay me $5. So. Oh, what I gotta run by is in point. What a night. What a night. Um, Unbelievable. So I wonder how the reception on this one's gonna go. <laughs> I am intrigued as well. Um, so, oh, yeah, the fighting still happening. The Confederates... It's, it's Doug, very put close. down a flag. Uh, I the believe in knife. that push. They gotta make sure they... Oh, oh will, it, will it, will it, will it, will it? It's so close. It's so close. An epic no, win. it's game. Uh, Corded, your thoughts. One, one. I don't like this. I, <laughs> uh, the this CSA just couldn't get the cap in the first five minutes, and that was it. There's not much else to it. Uh, everything after that didn't really matter. Fair enough, Bus. Your you, did, quick you didn't like it? I, I thought it was, I thought it was an interesting match. I thought it was an interesting match. I think it was. It sucks that they. I think it should be one map, frankly, and I think it should be one balanced map chosen by Eagle. That and you have to the best of your ability, the way that you can choose it. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying, but I don't know. I just, I uh -huh. just, I'm just not. I feel bad for Zoo, but at the same time. I don't, you know, it's like, it was a good match, I think the second match was. Uh, uh, the first match was sort of boring, just because it was like, CSA kind of got fucked. Union put up a fight in that last one, but I, they couldn't do much. Good fights from both of them, um, particularly to, to KB, I saw you guys putting in some work there, so good job there. Zoo, you tried your best. Sometimes it's tough, especially Maryland, Maryland Heights, it's a bad one to defend on. For sure. And with that being said, congrats to Second MS for moving to the second round.